authorization, but we would like to say a few words. And I introduce the uh, director of University Library, Professor Alexander Yetko. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and dear Klausters, welcome to Belgrade. I'm honored, I'm delighted to have this privilege to welcome you on the Hall University of Library and also University of Belgrade. We are each and every year when we can meet, we are really, really happy that we can uh, keep the good memory about uh, such a great thing and, and a neighbor that uh, distinguished itself during the, not only the Second World War, but you know, something that everyone should know about. Such a great thing that has been accomplished through the Korea mission at the time and to this effort to keep the memory and to promote that memory as a bridge that shortens the distances that are still considerable and sometimes not very pleasant at all. So standing here in this library and being a professor of civil literature itself and also being an ex Fulbrightese that you will unfortunately not be able to recognize through my broken English for so many years, but I still do like to try to do my best and to say that uh, I had an American identity. I have felt myself like being a Alex, which is Serbia and Sasha. So you can have both ways sometimes and also you can struggle because of those splits in your soul and your and everything. And I'm saying this very frankly, maybe not very diplomatically, but very frankly because I know who you are, what your memories are, and that you understand us a bit better than other parts of the world and the rest of the world. So thank you for coming to Belgrade. And also being in this uh, building, I do have this obligation to mention that this is the Carnegie Endowment in Belgrade. So the Carnegie Foundation uh, provided a generous amount of money after the First World War, hoping to erase those scars that the war left in the European face. So since they have supported more than a thousand libraries in the United States of America, they thought that it would be a novel thing to rebuild three libraries that have been demolished in the very first year of the First World War. So in 1914, the Germans in Leuven destroyed practically the half of the city for the very minor and stupid uh, um, pretense. There was you know, one shot that they heard and told that they were attacked and half of the city was gone. And my daughter has studied in love, this strange connection syndrome. And also I have been myself in Pittsburgh at Carnegie Mellon University and Institute three months, 40 years ago. But then they have rebuilt those two libraries in, in uh, Belgium and in France and um, thought that that would be an appropriate thing to do in Belgrade since the Belgrade and in Serbia uh, did not have any university libraries uh, at the time. So this is the first building that have been erected, particularly designed for the library purposes. And in 1940, in 1921, they have started building that on a, a place that was stretched, was used for the four spaces at the time, which uh, Serbian and Yugoslavian king at the time generously provided, and also came up with what we would today call a matching fund. So the Kingdom of Yugoslavia came up with the same amount of money that Carnegie was uh, devoting to this building and everything, and provided us with a great collection of books that we are proud of today, and also with the staff that has uh, had the chance to practice for three years before the opening of this institution. And on the very same day, when in 1926 they opened the building, Everything was fine and you could use this library. They didn't have enough to work for another four or five years to, to, make, you, uh, to, to make all those funds available. Great thing. So this is a, a temple of Serbian-American friendship in the way. Also a distinguished building that is, uh, of course, uh, academic classicism that was not of the time. But since we did not have this privilege in 18th century to, to keep and preserve the library, it was destroyed in 1730 after the uh, Austrians withdrew from Balkans and the Turks re regained again full control of Serbia. So the, the Belgrade in 1730 was more or less a small Vienna. It was called you know, Johannesstadt and Karlstadt in, and Weisburg at the time. Nothing left. You can see only the tower in Kalmegdan. 
the oldest building in Belgrade is not old, more than 200 years ago, the Belgrade has the roots in antique, in Roman times. That's the history. We sometimes don't call ourselves that uh, who is to be blamed that we have built the town on the middle of the road. One <laughs> who wants to go needs to go through that town. But anyhow, the, the better side of it is that we are here. We also would like to I would also like to mention that Ambassador's Fund from Washington uh, wanted us a generous fund to rebuild the facade and the roof, and we are grateful and we are always always in the center in which we say there is always a better side of history and there is always a better possibility for us as Hilliard Mission. You know, and I'm not going to talk about that, you know, probably more than me about that, but I would like just to, to emphasize right in the middle of the war when the people are competing in evil things and evil deeds and monstrous atrocities, almost to say that we know that even today, around the world, it is not far away from here and it hurts us a lot, either that it is a Slovenian or a historical thing, on the left or the right side of, of, of this geographical distance that they were trying to cover. But even in those situations, you can always count to that that some people will be better and the people will recognize the, the importance of goodness and the good deal in history. So here your mission, an effort by the Allies to free the world and Helium mission to come as much as you can in, in order to help them in that effort. That is something great. So I'm very grateful to all of you for coming here and I'm very grateful to everyone who really made this effort to keep this mission going, the remembrance being alive and to bring us closer and closer and closer. Thank you very much for the invitation. Welcome everybody, uh, and first I want to thank Professor Yerkov again for hosting us uh, here this evening, for uh, always being a gracious host and a good friend and supporter. Uh, it's a great partnership, and I look forward to continuing this partnership in the future. There's a there's a there's a lot of people to thank uh, for why we're standing here tonight. Um, First of all, I want to welcome all of the families that made this long trip to be here tonight, because that's why we're here, right? We're here to we're here to remember what your fathers, your grandfathers did, and what the Serbs did to assist them. And so that's why we're here. That's why these were made, um, and this story will uh, will continue to. Uh, to connect us. Uh, a lot of people have supported us to be able to do this, but I, I have to, uh, I mean, these, this is an amazing tribute, right? It's, it's, it's a tribute to, to the family members, to uh, those who participated in Hollywood, and, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank Adam for shepherding this through the Serbian postal system to get to this beautiful result. Uh, but also uh, to Boyan, who, uh, who's not here with us tonight because of uh, an unfortunate medical emergency. He's okay. He's the same. <laughs> he operated on his heart and on his brain. So he's okay. He's okay. <laughs> But uh, it was Boyan's energy that helped us push this through as well, and and this is this is the result. It's uh, it's an amazing tribute, a tribute that will last, uh, and it's just another point in the road uh, for us to continue to tell this story. We we want to. Um, it's the 80th anniversary of of this mission. Some of you were here for the 75th. Which was, was special. Some of you here for the first time today, right, for the, for the 80th. Um, and this will not end. There will be an 85th, a 90th, a 95th. And the goal is to continue to tell the story uh, in a way uh, that commemorates the past and, and helps to build for the future. 
relationship between the United States and, and Serbia. Um, I'll probably talk more on Saturday, and I look forward to talking with you all uh, during the evening and over the course of the, uh, of the rest of the time together during this anniversary. Uh, again, there's so many people to thank. I'll thank them. I'll thank you all in person. Uh, our sponsors, please take a look at this, uh, this chart. This, this does not happen uh, without support. And, and I'm, I'm uh, honored and humbled by those who have, uh, who have helped us to, to do what we're doing. So thank you again for being here. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, John, and uh, thanks everyone for coming such a long way from U.S. to be with us here and remember the past, uh, not just for sheer remembrance, but uh, to be free, as one famous historian said, of the place and the time that we were born in. We learned from mission, college mission uh, about another time and another place about uh, courage and uh, commitment and many other things that are maybe missing in today's world. Uh, Austal stamp is one of the most important uh, statehood uh, symbols, like flag, like uh, anthem. And uh, in this way it represents the stance and the uh, devotion of the uh, Republic of Serbia to preserving the memory of this uh, great uh, historical occasion and uh, when we celebrate 100 years, as John said, we, we will be able to look back and say that in 2024 how our mission was important to the Republic of Serbia. And in 100 years, when somebody else look at 2024, uh, they could say it was important to the Republic of Serbia to preserve this memory and cherish the relation with the United States. Uh, the stamp is uh, really a combined effort of uh, Post of Serbia and the uh, Harvard Mission Foundation. It was back and forth with John and Boyan. And uh, we struggled uh, what to present at the stamps because there were many issues, uh, authorship, uh, copyright, uh, symbolics, uh, uh, all kind of uh, uh, various things played in and I hope we, I hope that with this stamp we, 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 we did uh, justice to the college mission and the importance of college mission and people who participate in this mission on both sides. And you will see on the stamp sheet uh, beside the, the airmen and the, and the OSS people and the uh, King's Army in the Yugoslavia, you will see uh, ordinary people, ordinary Serbian people and even kids who did help at the time and did their best to add the allied cause and uh, uh, to get rid of the great menace of uh, Nazism in the uh, Second World War. Uh, I have to say that uh, uh, you are in the library that represent the best of Serbia and the U.S. relation. And uh, Professor Yerko explained this uh, very nicely and uh, uh, literally much better than I can. But I will just add one thing. Uh, these three libraries that, library, uh, that Carnegie Foundation uh, built after First World War, they, they are called frontline libraries. Because they were on the front line of the First World War and they destroyed. But still today, this library is on the front line of uh, building uh, friendship between U.S. and Serbia and preserving memories of uh, times when our two countries were allies and uh, doing each other favors and uh, struggling to be, to be on the good side of history. So we are on this front line today and this event is part of this effort and I thank you for, uh, first of all, I thank you for uh, coming and to support this effort. And uh, I thank you from my heart and I thank you in the name of uh, all people of Post of Serbia and University Library in Belgrade uh, for this effort because it's not easy to travel. I know it's not a simple thing to come halfway across to, to, to be with somebody else and uh, support this memory. So thank you very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, we will. Uh,
hand out uh, 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 some stamps to the families. And uh, today, uh, as of today, these are official stamps of Republic of Serbia. You can buy them online. <laughs> Consider uh, writing a letter and stamping it. <laughs> because one of these things can take a letter to us. Thank you very much. Please enjoy the food and drinks. Very high quality drinks. Already, but I invite you. And I. Of course, I'm always, uh, there's a million people to thank, but I especially do want to thank Ambar for providing the food, uh, Vladin, just wave for providing the drinks from Lav Radovanovich, uh, and the excellent Latvia. So please enjoy. Uh, please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you again, Professor.